In 10 years, what's been the greatest accomplishment you think I Can Dream Theatre has done? It brought together so many people, volunteers, uh, and the creativeness. It created a family. That family wouldn't transcends onto the stage. It's about their ability, really, and not about their disability. I Can Dream Theatre, the Montreal theatre group for neurodiverse and special needs adults, marks its 10-year anniversary with a documentary film, The Love Letter. The group is not only about um, putting on great productions, but it's been an opportunity for them to socialize. It's been an opportunity for them to really boost their confidence and their self-esteem. Michelle Perron LG, one of the I Can Dream Theatre cast members, says the Love Letter movie allowed her to dip back into the world of theatre and group she loves so much after the COVID-19 pandemic restrictions put a stop to it all. I know, I know it's been hard, but things are going to change around here. It was a lot of fun to put together that little uh, video, those little videos for Meryl. Uh, I even, you know, mom helped me make my my, my mom helped me uh, figure out my costume, and I uh, and I and I and I put on makeup, which I almost never do. That shows the fun, the joy, the friendship, the eagerness, the, the way they just want to be there and shine, and they work together. We have a lot of fun in rehearsals. It it, it is it is a lot of work. But by the end of it, you've created something like, you've created something that you're proud of. Hunka, hunka, bunny love. Hunka, hunka, bunny love. The troupe has put on nine shows in 10 years, with up to 28 cast members performing anything from Shakespeare to Star Trek. The group of neurodiverse adults live out their dreams while crushing stereotypes. It's about, you know, laughing at the same things that everybody does. We all sing the same songs that we all enjoy. And so audience, new audience members who have come in nervous, leave there thinking, wow, this was so much fun and this was great. And when's the next show? We're coming back next year. A lot of people come in and they have, all they really have is love for the craft. They don't have any experience, uh, but it's, it's amazing. It's, it's amazing what they, what they learn to do. The special needs community is a passionate and fun and loving community that more people need to learn about because I think it, as along with uh, it being about having different voices, it's also about diffusing stereotypes and um, um, creating a space so that way people can see that um, any preconceived notions that you may have of somebody who is neurodiverse, it will just go out the window. A lot of the cast members have always wanted to act and be actors, and the group allows them to do that, to be able to perform in front of an audience, learn lines, learn songs, learn dances, and they're able to live their dream of wanting to, to connect with people through acting and through performing. In Montreal, Brittany Enriquez, City News.